first studies with adjuvant high-dose chemotherapy supported with hematopoietic stem cell transplantation did show promising results. However, overall survival benefit was not confirmed in a meta-analysis. Um, the meta-analysis did show an overall survival benefit in patients with 10 or more involved axillary lymph nodes, HER2 negative or triple negative breast cancer. Only this came at the cost of substantial toxicity. After interest was lost in hydrous chemotherapy in the treatment of breast cancer patients, no follow-up studies were performed and long-term safety and efficacy data are lacking for all of the studies. The largest study comparing hydrous chemotherapy with conventional chemotherapy was conducted in the Netherlands between 1993 and 1999. We decided to go back to the study and collect and evaluate long-term follow-up data. So the N4 Plus study was conducted between 1993 and 1999 in 10 centers in the Netherlands. 885 women were included, they all had invasive breast cancer, four or more involved auxiliary lymph nodes and were younger than 56 years of age. Patients were one-to-one -one randomized to either five cycles of FET chemotherapy or four cycles of chemotherapy followed by one cycle of high dose chemotherapy which consisted of carboplatin, thiotepa and cyclophosphamide. All patients received radiotherapy and at least two years of tamoxifen treatment. First results were published after a median follow-up of five years and did not show a disease-free survival or overall survival benefit in all patients. To collect follow-up data, we went back to the medical records of all patients. We sent questionnaires to all general practitioners, cardiologists and oncologists in primary hospitals. And we linked our data set to several nationwide registries, including the Netherlands Cancer Registry, Statistics Netherlands, and the Netherlands Pathology Registry. This led to a comprehensive 20-year follow-up data set. We have over 99% completeness for vital status, incidence of second cancer, incidence of uh, breast cancer recurrences and causes of death, and 86% completeness for the incidence of cardiovascular diseases. Yeah, the data we uh, presented are the 20 year follow up data. To first tell you the safety data, we did not see an increase in the incidence of second cancers or major cardiovascular diseases after 20 years of follow-up. Uh, the efficacy data, after 20 years of follow-up, we did not see an overall survival benefit in all patients. In the pre-planned subgroup analysis, we did see an overall survival benefit in patients with 10 or more involved axillary lymph nodes and a trend towards a better overall survival in patients with triple negative breast cancer. The latter group wasn't big enough to show statistically significance, but we saw a 20 year overall survival estimate of 53% in patients who received high dose chemotherapy compared to 38% in patients who received FET chemotherapy. Our long term follow up data will help to improve breast cancer care for all patients. And although we did see an important overall survival benefit for a group of patients with a high clinical need for a better therapy, a prospective study with upfront selection of patients with high-risk breast cancer is needed to confirm our data. The SUBITO trial is currently ongoing and randomizing patients with stage three breast cancer to evaluate hydrous chemotherapy compared to the best standard of care at this moment.